Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will discuss how we can implement an LRU cache with the help of a lead code question. The question states that we need to design a data structure that follows the constraints of a least recently used cache. We need to implement the LRU cache class wherein we have a constructor, we had the get method and the put method. The follow up present us with the problem of implementing that in O of one time complexity and we will be directly doing that. Given are the example and the constraints with the problem. If you haven't watched the previous video where we discuss what is an LRU cache and why we need to use two data structures in order to implement an LRU cache, I highly recommend you to please watch that before moving forward with this video. As discussed in the previous video, we will be needing a hash map and a doubly linked list in order to implement an LRU cache. We'll start off with creating a doubly linked list. In order to implement that, we will have a node class. In this node, there will be two pointers, a previous pointer and a next pointer, and then a key and a value. We are having two values into this node because in the put method, there are two values. First is key and the second is value. So we need to have that also in the node. We'll define a constructor, which will take these two values. Now we know that we need to have a head node whose value and key will be 0, 0 and another tail node. This will help us in creating the LRU cache. And now we'll have a map with the integer as key and node as the value. And then we'll have a capacity variable too. We'll implement this, this dot capacity. And now we connect this head dot next tail and tail dot previous will be head. Now we are ready with the initial LRU cache. And now we need to implement this to get and put method. When we are trying to get a value from the cache, we need to first check if it exists in the map or not. That is what we discussed. So we'll check if the map dot contains key, this key. If the value is present in the map, that means the value exists in the LRU cache. If it is not, then we are sure that the value is not present. So we can directly return minus one in that case. Now we need to get the value that is present in this map. So the node that we need to return, let us call it data is presented map.get this key. Now we need to return this data value. But we see that when we are trying to access any value from the cache, we need to move that at the top of the head. So effectively we need to move data to the top that is marking it the most frequently used data. How you can do that? A more complex way to get that node and update the pointers and a simpler way will be to remove the node and then insert it. Because when we remove the node, we update the pointers, the node is gone from that place and when we insert it, we insert it at the topmost position. To make it simpler, we can have two methods First is remove wherein we pass this node and then we have this insert method wherein we insert the node. Now let's first see the put method also and then we will move on to implement this remove and insert method. We need to put this new key and value into our cache. So now a case arises that if that value is already present in the cache then if that is the case, we need to move that at the top. So if value is already present, we move it to top and we know that to in order to move that to the top, we have this remove and insert method. Now another case that can arise is if the cache is full. So if the cache is full, in that case, we need to delete some of the node or precisely one node. The one node which exists at the tail side of the linked list. So we can directly call that. So that node will be nothing but what? The tail dot previous value, which is nothing but the 
least recently used data. So we'll jump onto the first condition and we check if the map contains this key or not. If it contains this particular key, we need to remove this node. So we can just directly remove this map.get key from the linked list. And now if the cache is full, so here we use the capacity variable that we defined. So if the capacity is equals to whatever the map.size is, that means we have all the cache space being filled up. So in that case also we need to remove a variable which is tail dot previous. And now we need to just insert this node of with key and value. So we can create this new node object with parameters as key and value. Now we need to implement this remove and insert node method which are critical. Both these methods return nothing. So we have first this remove with a node value that we need to remove. As we are having a doubly linked list, deleting a node from a linked list is quite easy. We need to just update the pointer of its previous in the next and it will be removed. So we need to first remove this node from the map and now we just need to remove it from the doubly linked list. So the node.previous next should be equals to the node.next and a node.next dot previous will be no dot previous and that's simple now the last method that remains is void insert this node now as we are trying to insert a node in the remove as we deleted it from the map here we will put that into the map now the node dot key will be the key and the node will be the object that we store. Now we need to insert that at the top of the linked list that is the head. So this value should be stored next to the head because a head is a dummy node that we have created so that it is easy for us to update this doubly linked list. So we should have a pointer to this head dot next value. So the head next will be head dot next. So head dot next will be the current node and the node.previous will be head. Now we update head.next.previous will be the node and the node.next value will be this head next. So this completes the coding part. Let's try to run this. So here we made a mistake. It will be data and data. And also here when we're trying to remove the value from the map, it should be no map dot key. When we run this code again, it gives the right result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted. The time complexity of this get method is O of 1 as each operation in this takes O of 1 time. And similarly, the put operation also takes O of 1 time. The link to the code is in the description. How about in an interview, an interview change the question to LFU, which is a least frequently used cache. We will be discussing what is it and how it is implemented. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.